So this is reaction number 12. Here we're looking at a reaction where we're doing an electrophilic addition to benzene. So something you should know about benzene is benzene, unlike a regular alkene or alkyne, will not react with a halogen readily. So it would require a catalyst. And the reason for that is because the, the pi bonding here is involved in delocalization, and in order to add a halogen to that, you would have to disrupt that. Okay, and that proves to be very difficult. So we're going to look at a reaction here. We're going to add nitric acid to, to a benzene. This is in the presence of a sulfuric acid. Uh, and, and the first thing that happens is, is the pi bonding here is going to form a bond here, releasing a hydroxide. Okay. So, so we are going to disrupt our, our kind of pi bonding in the benzene ring. But we still have those. But now we're going to have a nitrogen attached and keep in mind that by releasing both the electrons to the hydroxide that this then has a positive charge, okay, a net positive charge. Um, and so we're looking at a positive charge here, negative charge here, and then a positive charge here at this carbon cation. Now, the hydrogen that's there will then very quickly, from something, uh, form a bond with it. And it could be from this hydroxide, it could be from, from whatever acid catalyst is, its conjugate base is there. But this is going to come in very quickly, and those electrons are going to reform the benzene's delocalization. and then I'll have my NO2 group present. So this is how you would add a nitro group to it. It's really simple. You just basically add nitric acid and then probably another acid catalyst. Um, but the nitro group is interesting in particular because if you took, instead of benzene, if you had toluene, and toluene is basically a benzene with a methyl group attached, uh, what you could do is you could add nitro groups to this and you can end up with an NO2 group here, here, and here, and those three nitro groups is called tri-nitro, and then it's on a toluene molecule. And that molecule was discovered by uh, a guy named Nobel, and he won the Nobel Prize for it, and that is called TNT, and he was the first one to synthesize TNT. And so the reaction for that mimics that process right there, interestingly.